Nation, King of the Mountain. work your whole life to win one championship and to win three and if you count the air-cooled class four championships in one season you have to take all that in you have to enjoy that you have to continually reflect on that because you just don't know when it's going to happen again so yeah took it easy but tried to enjoy every minute and tried to remind everybody hey you're champions act like it you know, the end of last season was a very stressful, busy time, and winning the championship really took a lot out of everybody. Into November, we got back really hard thinking about what changes we need to get ready for this year, and the last couple months here, it's been full on getting ready with both these bikes. We were fortunate and grateful that we won the championship last year, proud of that. Coming into 2023, score zero zero. Welcome back to Moto America Live Plus. We are at the World Center of Racing. It's the Daytona International Speedway. We're at Daytona International Speedway. We're racing motorcycles. This, this is a fun thing. You know, when you come through that tunnel, there's something about it just, you know, you feel like a gladiator coming into this amazing stadium and venue. You walk through that door and your heart ends up in your mouth. Such an atmosphere just to walk in to see the crowd that's already inside before we even turn up. Here we'll be all in. Of course we want to walk away with a couple of Daytona wins like we did last year. Racing these King of the Baggers, it's something special. We're going 180 miles an hour this year. We're breaking records. We've got the fastest Indian Challenger in the world. And those factory Indian Challengers on the Indian Motorcycle Progressive Mission Foods entries have been fast on 180 miles an hour. A little bit quicker than those Harley Davidson. The rivalry this year is the best it's ever been. You know, you got two great manufacturers fighting for the prestigious King of the Baggers. Harley's definitely stepping things up again this year. Spending a lot of money, we've got to be scrappy. We start with a really great bike in the Indian Challenger. We got really great riders in Tyler and Jeremy. We got a great team. We've got to work together because that's the only way we're going to win. Admission King of the Baggers. Well, they came to Daytona for the first time last year, and things are a lot different. Bikes are a lot faster. You look at these two manufacturers talking about Harley Davidson and Indy and the rivalry there is almost as heated, if not more, than I've ever seen between two riders even. Kyle's bike's fast. Yeah, that bike's fast. See, the two factory Indians here are on the last row. You see Bobby Fong also. These three riders were late to the starting, uh, the siding lap. That's why they are there. All eyes on the 33 of Kyle Wyman, starting from pole position. Yeah, the evolution of the baggers is it's insane. We came into Daytona this year with last year's gearing and hit the rev limiter when we got onto the straightaway. So we took off two teeth and went back out again and hit the rev limiter again, doing 181 miles an hour. Tyler O'Hara has made a great start. It looks like him and Jeremy McWilliams have both cut through and got through about six or seven riders. Only. It's pretty amazing what our team's been able to do with the Indian Challenger. To see it go that fast on the banks of Daytona is, is truly unbelievable. Yesterday, especially surprised by the Vance and Hines guys. Rispoli's always good, now Hayden Gillum on their bikes. Might be, you know, fighting more support teams than the factory this year. We're looking at number 43, James Rispoli, and his teammate number 79, Hayden Gillum, going at it for second spot. To win championships, you need to be reliable. You need to get points every single weekend. And the Indian Challenger won the King of the Baggers title last year because of that. Reliability was on our side last year, and uh, here starting this year, you know, our uh, HD friends are already having a little bit of trouble. Oh, that is a super big shame for the 33 of Kyle Wyman. Oh, oh, yeah. There goes another one. Both the factory Harleys blew up. The Indians finish the race. You get points and you move on to the next round. At the end of the race, Tyler finished third. You know, to get on the podium, four points, make it through the first race is, uh, was crucial. Our bike's fast, and we were able to run them down, and if we had two more laps, uh, it would be a different story. One minute, let's drop it. Having Jeremy McWilliams come back in as my teammate gives me confidence. He's better for the whole team, the development of this motorcycle. He brings so much to the table. Uh, for me personally, on the bike, but also off the bike. Here is our lead trio, and Tyler's backing off just a little bit, but white flag coming up here. What's gonna happen here? 
Up on the banking, there he goes. McWilliams drops low. Gets a nice blast through there. Here comes Tyler O'Hara as well. Up onto the back of Corey West. Tyler and Jeremy are uh, Margarita Brothers, is what they call themselves. Yesterday, they were working together out on the track like no other team was. I mean, they were together the entire time, sharing drafts, working on hand signals. They were the only two guys in the paddock doing it. Well, you know, there's, there's, there's no I in team. You know, we've been doing this all through 2022 anyway. More so again here, when you come to a place like Daytona. We're right where we want to be. Let's see if we can make it work. Here we go, Tyler O'Hara up and around the outside at the line. It is O'Hara. Yeah! Whoever comes out top, that's just the way it's going to be. It doesn't really matter who comes out top, as long as we're in the mix. Get him, Tyler. Run him down. So we brought on some exciting new talent this year, Al Luddington, if you don't know who he is, he's won nine AMA championships, real talent in the pits, brings a lot of race craft. Uh, we needed to step things up this year. My name's Al Luddington, my first trip to the paddock here was in 1987. I had some good success here, been fortunate to win the 200 five times. Daytona's its own whole beast and you got to have a tremendous amount of respect. If you think about what a 620 pound motorcycle is doing at 180 miles an hour, the physics are mind boggling. Tires are critical. You cannot mess around with tires here because it'll turn around and bite you. Daytona's Daytona. It's a unique beast and uh, it's a lot of fun. Tyler O'Hare hoping for a win, but so is yesterday's winner, James Rispoli, who got his first ever win in the class. Ready, we're set. Lights off. We're going. Mission King of the Baggers, race number two at Daytona. Factory Indians, look like they slotted into third and fourth, didn't they, Greg? So yeah, the Factory Indians. Tyler called me up over the winter and says, he goes, I need a dog that can bark on my team. He goes, yep for it. And then I looked at the lap times and I looked at the speed and I said, damn, this is a real deal here. They're not screwing around here. I mean, we're looking at 181, 182 in the bank and out of a 620 pound machine. I'm like, yeah, I'm in, man. It looked to me like McWilliams was, now it looked like he was slowing down a little bit more in the chicane, almost like as if he was to have a problem because Hayden Gillum has opened up that gap. And Tyler Hare also is going backwards on our screens. Jeremy McWilliams obviously suffering with something, trying to get this thing home and collect as many points as he can. Really uh, felt like I had the pace to win today. Just proud of our whole team. We had some issues with the tires, delaminating. Bikes were way better on track. We're going like three or four seconds quicker than we were last year, which is awesome. It's kind of the way we want to start the, the, the year off on the right foot. So we know going to Road Atlanta, we're going to be faster again. And Road America, we're going to be faster again. We got the top speed, which is something that our competitors don't have, which is pretty good. Just very confident overall that we have the fastest bike. It's good to know you have the fastest bike wherever you go that you know you can win. Overall, Daytona was really good for us. A lot of solid championship points, a podium sweep in Super Hooligan the first day and a 1-2 the second day. Couldn't be happier there. King of the Baggers, we podium the first day. You know, second day, really bad luck with the tires. You know, you win some, you lose some. The good part is the team's in really good shape. The bikes are super fast. The engine challenger is super reliable. We're gonna get ready for Atlanta and give them hell.